Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whatever time it is on your side of the planet, I just want to say thank you for joining me. It's your host with the most, The Thrift God, back with episode number four of Attempting to Thrift, a brand new to me used vehicle. Now, this one is going to be a huge catch up ceremony because some things have happened since the last episode. Oh, you've got mail. I, 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 I got the internet going nuts. So at the end of the last episode, which was episode three, if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely be sure to peep it and episode one and episode two as well. But at the end of that episode, I told y'all I was doing my band tea live on whatnot and it has occurred. The total I made after fees was $7,611.72, but I did spend about $1,500 all on clothing that I bought to resell during that life. So in my head, I reached a number I aspire to get to in order to purchase the vehicle that I have been eyeing. So I thought the mission was complete, but little did I know the vehicle sold. What? So what I was looking at was another thrift chariot. I flew all the way to Chicagoland to check it out. The guy was asking $12,000, which seemed absurd. It had like 58,000 miles. I got it inspected. It needed two grand worth of repairs. So when I came back with that knowledge to him that I needed all this little stuff fixed on it that equated to about $2,000, including the parts and labor, he was like, no, I can only do 11. And he told me that on the phone before I even booked a flight, got a hotel and rented a car in order to check out the vehicle and have it fully inspected by a professional. So that logic on his side made no sense to me. I guess he thought I was a sucker. So I walked on it and then I started this series and I figured, hey, I'll either reach that goal of 10,000 that I want or surpass it, get to that 11 that he wants and then purchase the vehicle. Well, in those weeks, he called me back and he told me, hey, I'll do $10,000 and then boom, the vehicle ended up selling as I was shooting this series. Obviously I have savings, but I thought it'd be more fun to thrift a vehicle. So now the price has gone up on what I want to purchase because it was either a van or the vehicle that I'm thinking about getting. With that being said, y'all, I also did my true vintage life, which occurred this past Tuesday. And behind me, you guys can literally see all the orders that are going out from that. So thank y'all for following me on whatnot. Anyways, it netted me $1,735. And then to reach that 20K, which I thought I would need for a new whip, I sold my old granny car, which was a Lexus ES330. I bought it for my uncle, kept it in the family, and sold it to my cousin for 6K. So this is the total budget I have to look at brand new to me used vehicles. We have $21,084 saved up for a vehicle purchase. So we already pretty much have reached my goal because I'm like, man, if it ain't 10K, maybe I'll upgrade with the 20K for a new to me used vehicle. With that being said, y'all, please smash the like button. If you guys want any gear, check out my website, which is thriftheavenvintage.com. And the only reason I'm doing this series is my thrift chariot. My van has rust holes in it. It's been in and out of the shop repeatedly. And I just need to upgrade the workhorse of a thrift vehicle into my arsenal. But let's go ahead and get it started today. Y'all know me. I like hitting up the Goodwill bins for the win. It is nice to know that the series is just about done. I told y'all it was a side mission and then we're focused on the main mission, which we still have yet to hit. We got two months left, so let's make it count, baby. 100K, here I come. Bright and early. Gang is lined up. It's time. It's time. Uh, let's get It's that real tree lifestyle, baby. Y'all let me know, is this a L or a W in the thrift? The Fashion Nova purse, but a little bit of uh, illicit substances tucked in the mix. Is that a L or is that a dub? Two L's make a dub, let's get it. Round two, fight. Big 3XL. Hey, let's go. So there's one find in that rotation. The Levi Strauss 
three extra large grande three times i'm gonna go ahead and nab this made in dominican republic something slice something light let's get it so i've been waiting for rotations to pop off i've been browsing the media section i've grabbed a ton of really cool records i'm gonna do an awesome art project coming up with those one that definitely is sick is the grease i did find this in a rotation that just happened the jesus christ last supper found god in a thrift store today a hundred percent needle point someone's grandmother spent a bunch of time on that i found some cool books just to add to my son's nature room aesthetic it is falling apart and then i found another really cool piece of art pure chaos the circus book very nice i love finding media with really cool art that i can reuse recycle and incorporate so just stay tuned i'm gonna do some cool things with all this y'all know what time it is i also got a fish tank and a nice little buddha man maybe i can do a, a like thrifted fish tank build might be cool all right y'all so they just brought out another giant bin within a bin of legos so now we're up to two this is probably like 60 pounds of legos all together it's like 70 pounds bro God, damn. yeah that's that's damn near max bro Four With the car minus 36, that's 68. Oh, look, you're back. So it would be. I'll do 30. 30? That's cool. So today has already been an adventure. 68 pounds of Lego secured, a ton of accessories, a bunch of extras, and now we are in the next spot, my favorite section, the purse section Family Thrift on Hillcroft the outlet and we have a soapbox racer that has manifested itself into a life size form aj foyt and then big daddy y'all check the two for one specials you have the tommy for your mommy crew neck and then the old school lee made in usa a pearl snap western button up this one's sick dude college bruh college the cincinnati bearcats on the golf sand with the slight little ass fragments the cats straight out the wuhan lab man i'm telling y'all what oh then check out this single stitch smacker big mickey on the links is that a greek statue jerry lay design single oh yes lord that deep chocolate ray charles the father of soul chocolate brown tea 2x we got the little tap out then the affliction for everyone who is roid raging and or is a y2k shout it you're welcome made in usa come on man see someone really got in a brawl in this y'all honestly can't tell me that this does not look like an elderly knit version of the camo foam posits Sweet. i'm telling y'all use your imagination just a just a tiny bit okay just a little bit shout out ocean pacific i mean i think it currently is in walmart but back in the day it was cracking off with the 90s designs look at this snowboarding anorak infrared light pink smurf blue magenta too i have to cop this may officially be one of the coolest pieces i have found look at this sweater it is koala bear encrusted they're legit forming a marsupial centipede what all up on here 100% wool. I think it was made in Australia. Hold on, let me check. It just says Australia. I, I believe the tags. We believe all tags. Yes, Lord. It's my favorite vintage color combo. That aqua berry, Columbia. Get your antioxidants up and match some aqua aids. Damn it. There ain't no way I could pass on this. Flawless color scheme. Beyond obligatory. One bird, one bat st louis cardinals crew neck and that's an absolute beauty what is this a baby pony the indie colts hey. <laughs> so are you guys feeling the labrador retriever flannel as much as i am this thing is bonkers and not a soul on this earth can tell me anything to contradict how i feel about this so we have the last piece of the day behind me and i'm afraid and ashamed that i may be in a perpetual state a ball ball state champion reverse weave let's go baby time to get some ball <laughs> okay guys we have officially blown this pop school stand shout out the family thrift always coming through got a bunch of loot 
and allergies and pollen are in my nostrils. So I'll catch you guys at the next spot before I sneeze on camera. Heading into another thrift locality, the Family Thrift Center. Big old sign, big old store. Let's hope there's some gear up in here. So there's only one item in here that has struck my fancy. I actually need to skedaddle on out of here. I did look somewhat thoroughly, but I need the cheetah print prints. My favorite color is cheetah print $9 suit jacket. Oh, that's fire. Blend in with the damn Savannah. So we have entered the next thrift institution and check out this absolute firecracker. The car heart that even knows it is a blessing in and of itself. Mariana Trench Blue with the gold hit. Oh, slight little snot stain. Creeping and crawling. I could see this from a mile away. Mighty Ducks. I think it's a CCM hockey jersey. Actually, this has no branding whatsoever. I don't even care, man. Oh, what is that? No. Someone used this as a damn reproductive fluid catcher. They're tripping. Tripping. Shout out the Gecko Classics. Who knew that they were hand producing vintage bangers and then simultaneously representing Geico? Need this. Pistachio ice cream? Grandmother's knitting work? Oh, it's actually Kooji. That just surprised me. I did not expect it to actually be a Coogee Australia bazillion dollar crew neck in the thrift. Check out this single stitch tee. 10 reasons to show me your tatas. I'm drunk, it's spring break. I'm already seeing two of everything. It is Hilton Head Island. And there are of course numerous extra reasons. This shirt is gonna be part of the Degenerate Live I'm doing on Whatnot, so everyone bookmark that show. It's gonna be beer, drugs, alcohol, and teas with funny messages like this. An ounce of hesitation, a world of regret, and of course, a few less teeth. What? No fear. Then right up next, straight out the hundred acre woods. Forest green matching the tree foliage. Winnie the Pooh Bear, bad yellow. Riddle me this, how did this stain occur? You got the Jeff? Gordon, a Chase Authentic Puffer, almost just slid off the rack. Did somebody pop an enormous back pimple? Whoa. Look at this, all types of stain on the interior. Quilting, big 2-4 of the slime green signature. That's real nice. Look at this vintage heater, okay? I, I don't wanna say grill, I don't wanna say banger, but it is a dead stock vintage Toyota made in USA shirt. You can tell this is rustic, ancient, and DS. If I had a taco, a tundra, a RAV4, if I had a forerunner, I would definitely love to have this in my collection. Such a sick piece of Toyota merchandise. And all right, y'all, we are officially back from another day of thrifting. As y'all can see, we have a ton of the clothes all lined up behind me. Some of these are going on my website, thriftheavenvintage.com. Some are going on the Whatnot Lives, and we have some crazy lives that are scheduled for the very near future. So number one, I'm doing my one year anniversary live this Tuesday that is coming up, so everyone bookmark that show. And then I'm thinking about selling my entire personal collection, or at least the vast majority of it. So if you guys are enticed and would like to see that happen, where I go in my closet and I slang gear that is mine that I've had for years and years, definitely be sure to bookmark that show. I'm only doing the live if that show gets 500 or more bookmarks on whatnot. Until that point, I am not running that live. So definitely download the app if you guys don't have it already. It is free to do and go ahead and follow me. My username is Thrift Guy. If you don't have an account, create one. It'll get you 15 bucks off your first purchase on the app. So you find a t-shirt for 25 bucks, congrats. It is now $10 and you guys get your whole family to create accounts get on their damn accounts and buy some ish for yourself or them for the holidays. Because I guarantee in this huge sea of clothing, I got something for any and everybody you dig. But yeah, the website just had a fresh new drop the day this video is releasing. So tune into that. And until next time, just thank y'all for riding with me. Thank you guys for rocking with me. I am glad that this series is done because I want to focus on some other projects and some other creative endeavors. So yeah, man, thank you guys so much. And we are back on our mission to try and get $100,000 by the end of this year. I literally started off with zero 
bucks in my bank account and I'm hoping to have a hundred thousand profit saved up and set aside to keep upgrading this business and to really produce some cool content and to bring y'all some cool gear. So thanks for rocking with me and uh, hope you guys are doing well. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.